guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. Well, I'm back with another tips and tricks video, actually a top 10 planning video for Disney Springs. That's right. So I had a few of you actually request for a Disney Springs video, and I have several up on my channel, but I thought maybe what you were looking for is more information about Disney Springs, kind of like the things you need to know or how to plan or what's there, all that kind of good stuff. So I thought I would come up with my top 10 kind of planning or things you should know about Disney Springs so that you can decide if you want to add that to your vacation. And for those of you who don't know, Disney Springs um, is located at Disney World. Disneyland has a similar kind of thing, but in tonight's video we are talking about Disney Springs, which is located in Orlando, Florida. So, you guys ready? I absolutely love Disney Springs. We go all the time, so I'm excited for this video. <laughs> Hopefully you are too. So, first thing we need to talk about, number one, is well, what is Disney Springs, right? Like, what is it? What are we talking about tonight? So simple. Disney Springs is an outdoor shopping and eating district or area that, like I said, is inside of the Walt Disney World property. Now, here's a few little things you should know. First of all, it's free. There is no fee or ticket associated with a Disney Springs, so you can go there whether you're staying on property, off property, whether you're a local, whatever you want to do, anyone can kind of just walk around, shop, and eat, right? Disney Springs also has lots of Disney-associated things, right? Disney shopping, Disney eating, but it is also filled with a lot of non-Disney shops and dining. For example, like Vera Bradley, Levi's, let's see, Sephora, a bunch of other non-Disney related things. So it really is just an outdoor shopping mall. Hopefully that kind of helps sum a few things up for you. But it also has kind of like activities or things to do, which of course we'll talk about later in the video. So that's the first thing you guys need to know. Disney Springs is just shopping and eating and kind of having fun, taking a break from the theme parks or perhaps you're staying at Disney, you know, for a week and you only got five park days and you're looking for something to do for a couple of hours. Disney Springs is always a good option for you. But let's keep going, shall we? So the next question, of course, is, well, how do I get to Disney Springs, right? <laughs> So if you are a Disney Resort guest, it's actually super easy. You can either go by boat, resort depending, or all Disney resorts will have a Disney Springs associated bus. Super easy, but one thing you 100% need to know, there is no park to Disney Springs bus or transportation. So if you're at Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, whatever, there is no bus from that point that's gonna take you to Disney Springs and vice versa. There is no Disney Springs bus that's gonna take you to the theme park. It's 100% Disney Resort to Disney Springs and back again. But it's super duper easy because they have dedicated uh, buses at all the Disney resorts. If you are at a theme park, just get to the nearest Disney resort. It doesn't have to be your resort. It can be any Disney resort. So if you're at Hollywood Studios, just take the Skyliner over to the next resort. Maybe you're at Epcot, just walk on over to Beach Club or Yacht Club and take their dedicated bus. You're at Magic Kingdom, walk over to the Contemporary and take their bus. It's super duper easy, but you just need to know that. I don't want you guys wasting time trying to wait for a Disney Springs bus at the theme parks because there just aren't any. But I did talk about uh, boats. Yeah, so there are four Disney resorts on property that have boat access to Disney Springs. I've showcased one or two of them in previous videos. So that is Port Orleans Riverside. I have a whole video on this resort where I show you the, bo the boat and all the access to Disney Springs. Then we've got Port Orleans French Quarter. Now that's the sister resort to Riverside. So whether you're staying at Port Orleans French Quarter 
or Port Orleans Ridge, Riverside, they both have that boat access to Disney Springs. You also have Saratoga Springs, which also is walking close. So they have a walking path that goes to Disney Springs as well. And also Old Key West Resort. And these are all Disney resorts with boat access. But as you may have seen in my <laughs> Riverside video, depending on the time of year and the time of day and the interest, those boat lines can get long quick. Sadly, we did wait over an hour for the Disney boat because they come and go, but it's only every like 15 or something minutes, kind of like the bus and it only holds so many people and uh, it took us a while to get there, but usually it's not an issue, especially if you're going early in the morning and it's not popular time, it's easy breezy to go ahead and take that boat. Next thing is parking. So for those of you who are staying off property and you rented a car, for those of you who drove to Disney, for those of you who are local and you've just never experienced Disney Springs, they do have parking there. They have parking lots dedicated to a Disney Springs. So first you need to know is it, yeah, it's free parking, free standard self parking obviously valet parking is a little bit different because Disney wants you to come and shop and eat and spend your money so yes they're gonna make it really easy for you by making it free there are four garages or lots for you to consider here first you got the lime garage the orange garage the grape fruit garage and the watermelon lot now you want to know where to park I'm gonna make it simple for you the Lime Garage is kind of central to the center of Disney Springs. It's gonna get you closest to the main restaurants and the main shopping there. If you're doing more of the activities, which again, we'll talk it about, you're probably gonna want the Orange Garage because that's on the end of Disney Springs. So hopefully that helps you guys, depending on where you're going, most people are probably gonna look for that Lime Garage. Behind Lime is a grapefruit, so a little bit further of a walk. Every time we go and we drive, we hit up the Lime Garage, super duper easy. Next thing up is dining. Like I said, Disney Springs is shopping and dining. So one thing you might wanna know is, well, do I need reservations? Do I just walk up? Like, what do I do if I wanna eat at Disney Springs? So just like at the Disney theme parks and the Disney resorts, you can actually book your dining 60 days in advance. So depending on your package, you can book 60 days plus your whole week if you're staying on property. So go ahead and research those restaurants and make sure you add them to you know your list of restaurants that you want to get reservations to. Some locations do have walk-up times, but it, again, it depends on popularity, cancels, and all, and all that great stuff. But this is what you need to know, right? Like I said, 60 days in adva advance, just like at Disney, you would use the app or the website. Yeah, just the regular old Disney app, just type in the location. Some locations, like I said, take walk-ins, and some of them you can actually call the restaurant directly. So Disney restaurants, you can never, ever, ever call them. Uh, these other restaurants in Disney Springs are not always Disney affiliated, so therefore they do have a phone number often so you can call and try to make reservations. And Disney Springs is known for some amazing eats, some gourmet, famous chef created Eat. So if you have the time or you're a foodie, Disney Springs just might be right up your alley. But I do have to give a little note. For those of you with food allergies, I just have to let you know that a lot of these locations are not Disney affiliated. Like I said, they are their own thing. So even though because they're staying on Disney property, they should accommodate you per allergies, Sometimes they're not as good as when you go to a Disney actual restaurant with Disney chefs. So even though some of them usually will try their best, sometimes you do get into a situation where maybe you didn't get as accommodated as you would have if you went to a Disney restaurant. So just know that going into it, I'm really hesitant to take my family to some of the restaurants because I just wanna make sure we're gonna be 100% taken care of. And sadly, we've had experiences where we, we weren't really fully taken care of when it wasn't a Disney restaurant. So just know that in advance, for those of you with food allergies, I always suggest that my clients kind of eat their table service meals at Disney locations and maybe just kind of pack a snack if you're going to Disney Springs. 
Also note, uh, the Disney Springs has a lot of quick service locations as well, so only the table service locations require those reservations, and a lot of those quick services you can actually mobile order. So while you're shopping, you can mobile order and get your burger and your fries and your whatever, press a button and pick it up. So just note that similar to the park, you would make your dining reservations for sit down with your waitress or your waiter 60 days in advance. For your quick service, you can walk up, mobile order, all that good stuff. But that's it about dining. Who's ready for number five? Yeah, we're going to talk about my favorite part about Disney Springs. Um, who knows what that is? Can you guess? Yeah, shopping. I love to shop. Absolutely could spend forever just walking around Disney Springs, going into all the Disney themed shopping. But this is what you might want to know. Um, in terms of Disney themed shopping here, uh, Disney Springs has the largest Disney store on Walt Disney World property known as the World of Disney. This is where you're going to get all of the, the things, kind of the collection of stuff from all the different shops kind of in one spot, so to speak. So t-shirts, plush, ears, homewares, trinkets. I don't even know. The store is huge. It's usually very crowded, so heads up on that. But yeah, if you're looking for Disney galore, you want to check out the world of Disney. But on top of that, we got a few other Disney uh, shops here that I absolutely love at Disney Springs. One is the Co-op Marketplace. Now, this uh, marketplace tends to change because they get different kind of venues and situations in there. So sometimes they'll have a store dedicated to this and then it switches out and it changes. Absolutely love it. But for the most part, they usually have a section dedicated for your Disney pets, your doggies and your cats and all leashes and bowls. And you want to Disneyfy your pets at home. Yep, yeah, this is a great place to do it. They have a lot of trendy clothes in there. So, you know, you got a teenage girl or a millennial or you're looking to get some trendy outfits. Absolutely the co-op marketplace. They have some Disney designer dresses in there. So you like those nice Disney dresses with the poofy skirt. Yeah, you can get those there. Brand name uh, Disney purses, right? So Dooney and Burke, Harvey's, Lounge Fly, a lot of that is in there. Disney art, like the Disney gallery, they have a huge section in there at the co-op. They even have a little section there for you to get, yep, a Disney themed cell phone case. So that's all in this little area known as the co-op marketplace. But on top of all that, they also have the Disney days of Christmas. I love this store. Um, whether or not it's Christmas season or not, it is full on Christmas 24 seven in this store. So you can plan ahead if it's not Christmas time. We're talking stockings and ornaments and trains and decorations and all of it's Disney themed. In fact, they even have cast members in there that'll make you personalized Disney ornaments. You know, put someone's name in there a year, whatever you want. So absolutely love the Disney days of Christmas. Next up is we have the Disney style store. Again, kind of like those trendy clothing, but it's your different Disney clothes, not just the stuff that says Walt Disney World on it. This is different, it's more trendy, and I absolutely love that store. Next up, did you know they actually have, I think it's two, two Star Wars dedicated stores at Disney Springs. You love Star Wars, you wanna do some shopping? Absolutely Disney Springs. And Marvel, they have a Marvel or superhero themed store as well. So yes, absolutely love shopping at Disney Springs. But what if you're looking for toys? What if you're shopping for your kiddo? What if you promise the kid, if you behave, I'll take you to the toy store at Disney Springs because mama needs to go shopping and get her Starbucks and dad wants to hang out and listen to some entertainment. If you're a good kid, I promise I'll get you some toys, yeah? <laughs> Am I the only parent who does that? Absolutely, so here's some toys here at Disney Springs. First up, the Lego store absolutely love a good lego store sadly we don't have one in our area we used to before we moved i would take my kids to that lego store every couple of weeks and they would just walk around and look at all the kits absolutely love a lego store but the really cool thing about this lego store at disney springs is they have large life-size disney characters 
made out of Legos. Yes, absolutely. So they even have Maleficent at the top of the Lego store, kind of coming down, looming on the store. It's excellent. They used to have a Frozen exhibit, a Star Wars exhibit. Again, life lights, size, giant Disney characters made out of Legos. They even have a characters inside the store, not to mention a whole bunch of Disney themed Lego boxes and kits and keychains and all the things that you can buy there. You can even create your own special customized minifigure. I have a whole video on that process. But yes, absolutely love the Lego store. And yeah, don't forget to take a selfie or two of those Lego creations. Next up is Once Upon a Toy. Now this is where you're gonna get your Disney themed kind of little kid toys or board games, right? It's all in one shop. Back in the day, sadly, I don't think they do this anymore. Disney, you should do this. Back in the day, before I even had kids, I went and bought a giant Mr. Potato Head and filled him with Disney-themed, like, potato head parts. Like Mary Poppins umbrella, Disney glove, Disney balloon, all these separate Disney parts to put on my Mr. Potato Head for eventually when I did have children. So yes, of course, when I finally had kids, they loved playing with the Disney Mr. Potato Head. But yes, absolutely check out Once Upon a Toy. Now, if you love dinosaurs like someone else, they have a special Build-A-Bear. You know what Build-A-Bear is, right? but it's build a dino. Yeah. <laughs> you can build a dino at build the bear workshop just outside of the T-Rex restaurant. So if you want to get your kid a customized stuffy that they can kind of do that's a dino themed. Yep. They got that at Disney Springs along with a few other stores. These are the, just a few I decided to point out next up. Okay. You're like, you know what? Enough shopping. I don't want to eat. I'm already full. What? else is there to do this is especially great some of these um, are great when it's raining and you don't want to go to the theme park because you're all wet or perhaps you had an extra rest day and you got tired of the pool and you want to do something else disney springs has a few really fun uh, activities for you to possibly do while on your vacation so the first one is yeah they have an amc disney springs 24 movie theater where you can actually do a movie and some dining all at the same time. So a big Disney movie came out in the middle of your vacation and you don't want to miss opening night. Yep, you can go ahead and watch that at the AMC theaters. Next up is the Splitsville Luxury Lanes. That's right, bowling. They have bowling at Disney Springs. In fact, you can do bowling and eating at the same time. Splitsville also has a dining location in there. They actually have water taxi tours. I have a whole video on this. Absolutely love this experience where you're in an Italian water talk taxi called an Amplicar. I could be saying that wrong. It actually looks like a car and it's on land. And then you take off and it goes into the water. So it goes from car to boat. <laughs> It's super cool. And then you're just cruising on the water around Disney Springs and sometimes you'll see a boat come by and everyone honks at each other. It's just fun. It's a great, just nice little cozy, it's almost like you're on a pontoon boat, right? And you're just taking a nice little cruise around Disney Springs, except you're in a car and it's absolutely amazing. The next thing to do here is a hot air balloon ride. Yeah, have you ever, wanted to do one, Disney Springs could be the chance for you. Also, Cirque du Soleil, which I always say wrong, uh, that kind of acrobatic uh, musical show, they have that at Disney Springs as well. It's called Drawn to Life, very Disney inspired. So yeah, you can do that as an evening, kind of maybe a romantic thing, I don't know. And then they also, it's currently closed. So right, don't say that Nina said it's open, it's currently closed but I'm gonna talk about it because they could open it. Disney Springs also has a Bippity Boppity Boutique location. So here's the thing. A lot of people wanna get those princess makeovers for their kiddos, but a lot of times 
Magic Kingdom gets booked up and people can't get a reservation. So then Disney Springs started doing their own reservations with their own boutiques. So a lot of people would go to Disney Springs, get the kitty the makeover, and then quickly go to Magic Kingdom where they're, there ha where they're then having dinner at Cinderella's Royal Table. Or because Askershush is at Epcot, you can go to Disney Springs, get the makeover, go to Askershush. Anyway, you get my point. But it's currently closed. But at any given time, Disney could open it. So just know that it's it's there. It's just they need to open it, right? So that's it about the non-dining and non-eating kind of stuff to do. And of course, there's a few more things. But again, you got to kind of check it out on the app. Number eight. I don't know about you guys, but I like to go to Disney Springs in the evening. I've been going to the park all day. And then I kind of go to Disney Springs in the evening. One thing I always want is a Disney treat. That's right, they have lots of dessert over at Disney Springs. So I got a few to mention, right? First, Sprinkles. Sprinkles is cupcakes. I am a huge fan of cupcakes. In fact, they even have an ATM. Yep, a cupcake ATM where you select your cupcake, you put in your credit card and out comes the cupcake. You don't even have to go into the store. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's Sprinkles for you. Then they have a patisserie, which sadly we can't eat at because it's not allergy friendly, but this is gourmet desserts, fancy, expensive gourmet desserts, and often they are Disney themed. In fact, when this uh, bakery puts out a Disney themed something, they will have lines out the door, down the street for people to try to buy their special Disney creation. Next is Everglazed Donuts. You like donuts just like me? Absolutely, you wanna get those at Disney Springs. They do have a plant-based donut on the menu as well, but these are crazy donuts. Unique flavors, very different, kinda of eye-opening, out-of-the-box flavors at Everglazed. Cookies, who wants some intense flavored, gourmet, giant, big, rich cookies, yeah? Then you want Gideon's Bakehouse. Now this is semi-new, so is Everglazed. It's not new, new, it, it, a year, I don't know. Uh, but these are some newish uh, sweets and treats and they are so popular that they often have a huge line of people trying to get uh, both the donuts and the cookies at both those locations. You just want your simple chocolate. You're looking for Ghirardelli. Yeah, they have a Ghirardelli over at Disney Springs. Now I was born and raised in California we did lots of Ghirardelli in San Francisco. So for me, going into a Ghirardelli and smelling the smells, oh, brings me back to my childhood. Absolutely love it there. Next up is salt and straw. Salt and straw is, an, again, kind of like Everglazed and Gideon's. It's an out of the box, crazy flavors, ice cream shop. In fact, they have one at Disneyland. My kids absolutely fell in love uh, with this location. They even have plant-based vegan ice cream on the menu. You want something outside of your vanilla and chocolate. You want something creative and crazy and oh my gosh, mouth-watering delicious. You want to go to Salt and Straw. Next up is Erin McKenna's. Now I have featured Erin McKenna's several times on my Disney Spring videos. Erin McKenna's is where you go if you have food allergies and you just want to go to a place that has a dedicated bakery that's safe for your family. Everything inside Erin McKenna's is gluten-free and vegan. The only issue would be uh, certain nut allergies. They do uh, use a flour that can be contaminated with nuts and even though the flour gets tossed, people's comfort levels are different here. So depending on your nut allergy and or coconut allergy, uh, Aaron McKenna's may or may not be good for you, but check their website, call them up, talk to them about it. But yeah, absolutely love taking my kids to Aaron McKenna's and I just say, get whatever you want because it's safe for us. And it's, like I said, vegan, gluten-free. My kids will get several cupcakes, donuts. Yep, absolutely love Aaron McKenna's for a Disney treat. All right. Who's ready for quick service? Like I said, Disney Springs has table service dining and quick service dining. I'm just gonna name a few, right? So my family's favorite, which I featured on my channel several times, is Blaze Pizza. Now Blaze Pizza is a chain. We actually have one local to us. Other people might have one local to them. 
but we love it. We love it because we can get a vegan and a gluten-free pizza there. I love that it's customized, so I know they're getting me safe ingredients from the back that haven't possibly been contaminated. Um, anyway, but it's pizza. It's wood-fired pizza that you kind of create yourself, kind of like at Subway, right? You start with your pizza and your sauce and you add the types of cheese and the meats and the veggies and everything you want like Subway. Then they take your pizza, they fire it, they cook it for you, and then when it's done, you get to eat. Absolutely love uh, Blaze Pizza. Next up is Chicken Guy. Yeah, I think you guys know what Chicken Guy is. You want some chicken, chicken, chicken? Yep, that's where you're going to want to go. They have a deluxe burger. So yeah, you're looking for some crazy fixins on your burger. This is a place to go. Again, a lot of these are also mobile order. So while you're shopping, you can just look up Chicken Guy, get an order, deluxe burger, get an order. Blaze Pizza, you kind of have to customize your pizza, makes it a little bit more difficult. But anyway, yes, yeah, so if you're looking for a burger, they have a vegan one as well on the menu. Uh, that's a good place. Earl of Sandwich. Now, I love Earl of Sandwich. They have one at Disneyland as well. When I was pregnant, I tell the story all the time, they had this like Thanksgiving inspired sandwich. <laughs> And something about being pregnant and that sandwich, we went back every single day just so I could get that dang sandwich. It was absolutely absurd, but it's what the baby wanted, right? You gotta give the baby what they want. Anyway, love Earl's sandwich. It's soup and salads and sandwiches and they're really, really good and big and yes, so that's Earl of Sandwich. They also have food trucks at Disney Springs. So if you want something a little bit different, I think they have a Mexican inspired food truck. They have a local eats kind of fresh food truck. All of that, you can, again, you can look it up on the app, but yes, absolutely love eating from food trucks as well. Number 10, you guys ready? So like I said, they do have table service dining locations. I thought I would mention a few popular ones in case you guys are looking for things to try, right? First one here is Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Now this place is popular, especially for brunch. So if you're looking to go for a really just yummy, juicy, delicious brunch, yeah, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming could be the place for you. Raglan Road, absolutely love Raglan Road for some delicious Irish eats and drinks and even Irish dancing, that's right. They do have performers and entertainment at this location for you to just enjoy while you dine. Next up is the Wine Bar George. Yep, this is gonna be a restaurant and bar all together. The Edison is pretty, pretty popular. Make sure you check that out. Again, you can look at the menus on the app for all of these locations so you can decide which one fits your taste and not, you know, which one you prefer. Next up is Halejo. I do believe this one is on the newer side, so absolutely check it out. Look at the menu. It's Halejo by Jose Andre, of course, who is a famous chef. So absolutely, a lot of these locations have some famous names behind them, so absolutely check that out. And then we have the Jock Lindsay Hangar Bar, which is very much a bar and a lounge, but they have eat too, and a lot of people rave about the eats over at Jock Lindsay's, and of course, many, many more. Like I said, Disney Springs is an outdoor shopping and eating just district. Lots of shopping, lots of eating. I just named a few. You guys have to do your own research, look it up on the app, look at the menus, and see which ones work for you. But yes, that is Disney Springs. Now, if I'm gonna toss in a bonus, it's not really a bonus, but we'll call, call it a bonus. I love Disney Springs. My family loves Disney Springs, but Disney Springs isn't something you have to do. It is not something that's gonna make or break your vacation, especially if you're a family with kiddos. When we go to Disney Springs, we don't go all day long. We go at the end of a park day, I promise the kids pizza, maybe I promise them a Lego kit from the Lego store, I get to get my shopping in, my husband's grabbing a drink on the corner, you know, my kids are getting their Legos and their pizza and we're all happy. But when they were little, little, I can't imagine them enjoying this too, too much. So just kind of know that in advance. This isn't something that's gonna make and break your trip, but if you love to shop, and you love to eat, and you're looking for something different, something outside of the theme park, something that doesn't cost any money, maybe you're just trying to kill a few hours, 
absolutely go check out Disney Springs and walk around. They often have entertainment out and about, singing and dancing and performers, absolutely. At the holiday season time, they have Christmas trees and a train that goes around. So yes, absolutely fabulous. But I don't want to oversell it for people who have littles and the littles just might not enjoy it and cause problems. So just do what you think works best for your family. So like I said, as much as I love it, I, we don't usually spend all day there. It's usually a few hours just to kill some time or try some new eats and then we go back to the resort. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you who love Disney Springs, what is your favorite restaurant to eat at? Put it in the comments because it helps us all out, right? And I hope this was the video you guys were looking for. For those of you who were looking for Disney Springs, I have done lots and I've showcased the restaurants and what they look like and the stores and all that stuff. I thought maybe you were looking for something a little bit more informative. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I did it for you. Uh, but as always, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. Like this video. And like I said, comment. Is this what you were looking for? Hopefully I hit it out of the park. Let me know what your favorite dining locations are and shopping locations are. I can add it to my list for the next video or to help out the other viewers but yeah guys and please please share 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 the more sharing the better it is for everyone but yeah as always guys mahalo for watching nina out